Hey guys, welcome back. Kyle Dimon here, Bullion RV, and we got this awesome fish house just arrived. Uh, temperatures are changing, it's getting a little colder, so we got uh, ice castles and gray wolves pulling in. So today we're gonna do a video of the 17 MP. So we'll get you on the outside, we'll get you inside and see what you think. A couple new changes this year on the gray wolf. So if you've been watching over the years and looking at them, a couple new changes on this one. So we're gonna help point those out here for you. Start you right up front. We got the blue and white kind of strobe light, uh, scare light, so to say. So if you want to kind of scare your buddies, let them know, hey, we're the cop camper out there. It kind of looks like that. But, you know, if you're in a blizzard or anything, that's going to really stick out nice for you. So nobody's going to run into your camper with their wheelers or their uh, snowmobiles. You got two 30-pound uh, LP tanks right up front on board. We do fill these here at Bullion RV for you, included in the deal. Uh, you got some power out here, so this is going to be that full year-round camper with the AC and the heater and all that stuff. This one does have water on board, so you can use it at the campsite, so that's going to be really nice. This is a crank-down unit, so help you earn that nice fish fry, kind of burn off the first beer you're having while you're doing it. This unit's going to be coming, um, so this has a gray tank, so it does have the shower and the sink in there, so it's going to have a gray tank. And then your toilet is going to be a cassette toilet. Cool thing about this guy here is it's actually going to be, you know, if you are using it in the wintertime, you can throw some RV antifreeze in there. You can still use the toilet in there, which is going to be really nice. I know some of you guys are trying to get those ladies out on the ice. That's a good sale for them right there to have a toilet on board. Power adapter on the back side here. Your city and your freshwater connections are on the back as well. And then again, with another nice uh, scare light out here and an LED strip, so really can light up the camper pretty much all the way around it for when you're on the ice at night. That's gonna be, feel really safe. Coming around on the back side, set up with a backup camera on board already. So you just QR code to that, your phone will be your monitor. So you've got a camera on board already for you, which is gonna be awesome. Now again, like I said, this is gonna be like your 12, you know, 12 month year round uh, camper here. So you got your big awning, LED strip under that, speakers on the outside. I suppose if it is a really nice day in the winter, uh, when you're out on the ice, sun shining, the wind is low, popping this out, maybe drilling a couple holes outside to kind of bring that space out here for you might be a great idea. And then you do have up front here is where your six gallon hot water heater is gonna be located right there. In previous years, they had the glass front door, so they moved back to um, just a fiberglass front door here too. So that's a little bit of a different change. Hopping on up in here. First thing you'll notice again, if you've been watching over the last couple of years, how dark they were with some of the black cabinetry. So they've switched to some lighter wood. Um, really makes it pop, has the black pull handles still to kind of add that accent look to it. But I really like how it lightens it up and kind of gives it a really nicer look to it. Two rod holders on either side and they've really beefed up um, the hinges on them. So you got two big hinges before they used to be kind of smaller ones. People are always beefing them up. So really nice, good rod holders that are beefed up on both sides there. Coming with a full-size spare on board and your power cord is going to be there. So that's going to be great. This is going to be your main bed in the back. You can see we have a drop down. So move some of the side cushions. You do have two fish holes under there as well, uh, but that's going to be your main bed. You got your bunk bed tucked up top. This is stationary, so it doesn't move out of the way, but you know, a nice spot to tuck extra gear. Some of those smaller kids, maybe your drunk buddy that you just don't want them to get down, just kind of tuck them up here and put them to sleep. Maybe put a little rack up here to kind of tuck them in tight. Uh, storage up under here. Batteries are gonna live under there. Um, let's see, we'll pull one of these holes out. As you can see, you got the blue light to charge those UV uh, lures you guys got going on. And then you got a nice white light. Let's see, we'll get that on. Nice white light too. And that's gonna be on every hole. And you can see it's got kind of the bend for the lights. Also, you got spray foam floor in here too for that extra art, extra insulation package going on in here. Uh, power, USB are kind of all over the board. So we got a couple power outlets and USBs on this side. 
USB and power over on this side. Kind of everywhere that you're sleeping is gonna have one. You know, this jackknife's down into a sleeper sofa right as well. So this camper, you could probably put two, three, four people in here comfortably, five, six, if you really wanna tuck them in tight, so. Um, like I said, more USBs. I really like these new window treatments uh, for the blinds. TV hookup. So they just have this one like universal slide down slot. So this would be your TV is with the all the appropriate hookups in the back. Mesh net up here for all your travel gear. It's really easy to just pull this down, add everything up in there and you'll have that to kind of keep things in play. And then the rest of the stuff is all, is all magnetic. Um, so that's gonna be really nice. You don't have to worry about any of the clips bending or breaking or sometimes you have those little pieces that kind of connect in there and they get bent up or moved around. So having the magnets in place is gonna be great. Battery monitor in here too, to kind of keep the voltage of all the batteries, keep an eye on all that stuff going on, depending on how you're using it. If you need to fire up a generator or what you got, you know, what you're using, be able to just kind of at one quick peek. AM, FM, Bluetooth. Um, we all know how that kind of works. You got HDMI, USB plugs. So really nice feature there. And again, more, more storage. And these pass all the way through. There's no obstruction in the middle, so you can really start sticking some longer things in there if you like. Over here in the kitchen, three burner cooktop with like a built-in backsplash to it. Oven big enough to get some frozen pizzas, stores, lasagna, chicken nuggets, small little things in there. More storage up under here. Um, never can have enough storage, so always a spot to kind of tuck stuff. Like I said, this has got water on board. You got one really nice deep, um, what do they call these, recessed sinks to kind of just brush the crumbs. Stainless steel sink in there as well. Power in the back for those coffee pots or, you know, for the late night fishing or the early morning fishing. You got that going on. Got your trusty bottle opener. Everybody's out having a few cold ones. Have the bottle opener on there so nobody has to put their beer on the countertop and pop it open like that. 12 volt fridge freezer. So the size on these fridges and freezers, you got about 10.2 cubic foot. The freezer is really deep. You can fit a lot of stuff in here. They're really energy efficient. I mean, this freezer is getting cold, been plugged in for maybe 20 minutes. So the freezer is already creating ice, been getting really nice and cold. Good space here. So again, when you're out camping, if you want to bring a crew, you got that. Battery disconnect uh, right down below. So be able to just hit that and save your battery so you don't have to dig into the battery compartment every time to pop a battery off. You can just do that. You also have your uh, fuse box and breaker box right down below there as well. Into the bathroom. Now again, like I said, you got this cassette toilet. Um, nice thing about this is you know, you just have the hand flush to add water into it. It's a little five gallon compartment bucket. Super easy to use, empty, anything like that. It does twist, so you can actually sit on it and close the door, which is nice. Um, and you do have a shower. I'm a little shorter in these campers because your water tanks are gonna be under this section here. So these showers are a little shorter. I'm 5'8", five, 5'9", five, you know, I'm, I'm a short guy, but. I'm getting clean in here, you know, and, and again, if you're showering in your fish house, you know, when you're using it as a camper, I can 100% guarantee that you'll come out smelling better than when you went in. And that's the whole point of it anyway. So um, if you got little kids, that little tub in there or little dogs or pets, that little tub in there is going to be nice for you as well. AC up on top. Like I said, you got the AC up here and then you got a 35,000 BTU furnace in these bad boys. So really keeping up while you're on the ice. So um i guess we'll kind of get and then up front here one last thing this is where all your main controls are so your awning lights those auxiliary lights we were talking about outside the convenient lights uh your water pump and everything your awning going in and out all that stuff in one nice easy convenient location right as you walk in so um you know so that's 
that's kind of it. The fish houses are pretty simple. Uh, we are getting in a bunch of these. Again, my name is Kyle Dittman. If you haven't yet and you like our videos, hit that like button, subscribe to our videos. That way you're going to get a notification as soon as we put them out here for you. Uh, I'd love to work with you on one of these. Like I said, the weather is turning. Camping season is kind of ending. Fish house season is going to be starting. So what better way to get into a fish house than you can use it year round too. So again, give me a call. Let me know how I can help. 218-740-4964. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.